when you create motion graphic for yourself or your business, it's always important to save it and export it as your template. So you save your time. You don't have to always start from scratch. But how do you share them with your colleagues, coworkers, or clients? You may search your hard drive, but it's not there. So where is it? So if I have a look at this motion graphics, very simple title, for example, that I want to save for the future use. First of all, what I have to do is if I'm finished with this, I right click on the graphic and then go export as motion graphics template. One tip when you do that, you can only save one layer on the timeline. You cannot combine layers, combine images together with the layer. Even if you nest this, it's not going to work. Motion graphics template can be created only from a single layer on the timeline and all your layers within that layer need to be displayed in essential graphics panel. So if you want to create another text a shape or add your logo to it, for example, from file, you can also import Photoshop files, by, by the way, you have to do it from essential graphics template. So it holds one layer holds all the assets. Okay. So if I'm going to right click export motion graphics template, and I am going to go and export the local templates folder, this is the destination, or do I want to use this in my library so I can share it with the colleagues? So basically it's a perfect scenario because it's going to be in my Premiere Pro as well as Adobe Cloud, and then I can share it with whoever I want. So you have to go for my library or any for example, I have other libraries as well. So YouTube channel is a specific library I've created. And I'm going to name this uh, Fire Header, okay, or title or whatever. You can set key uh, keywords if you want to search it. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to generate motion graphics template. And what happens if I go to essential graphics panel, go to browse, by the way, if you cannot see it, go to window and enable essential graphics panel. So I'm going to go to browse and I'm going to search and I can search from here, from the search bar, or literally go through my library that I just exported in two and I can search fire enter and there it is. Okay. So I can then in the future project, drag this, drop it in my timeline, and then it's consistent. It's the same. Then I can just rewrite the contents inside. Okay. How do I share this with my colleagues? Cause this appeared immediately and obviously without any effort in my library. So if I right click on it, copy to local info, what does it mean? How do I share this? Where is the mogurt? If I search my hard drive for the mogurt of this fire template, I'm not going to find this. Okay. What I have to do, I have to go to my Adobe cloud and you have your right libraries. Then you create it. You can create new library with this button. So I have my library and then I have my YouTube channel. So I saved it into my library. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to find my fire. If you have a lot of stuff like me, what you just do literally just go to fire, search fire and there it is. Okay. Fire header right there. It took me right there. Okay. So what I can do from here is simply highlight the motion graphics template you want to share. And then you have the share button on the top of the right side of the screen, click share. And then invite your colleagues. Okay. So you can search the name, the email, whatever, then click invite and they can edit, they can view. These are the choices. And basically it's going to appear in their Premiere Pro. So they're going to, uh, it's going to be in the shared files. So if I go back shared with you and this is where they can see it. Okay. If you want to send them the actual mogurt. Okay. So the actual file, physical file that you can store on the hard drive, you can send it, you can attach it to the email and not go via cloud. What you do is you right click on it, export motion graphics template. And instead of having it in your library, 
And actually, I'm going to show you different um, motion graphics because I want to show you that this is the one that I'm talking about. Let me change this one and remove the background just so we can see that this is the right one. So I'm going to export as motion graphics template. I'm going to go to local drive, okay? And this way, I'm literally exporting this into specific location as a Mogurt file. So in this case, desktop Nicole, and I'm going to name this to be fire number two, okay? And I'm going to click OK. And here what the, here's what happens, okay? I'm going to go to desktop, I'm going to go to Nicole actually, and I will see fire to Mogurt, okay? So this is the physical motion graphics file. If I want to send this, share this, the same way, basically, they just literally import this into Premiere Pro. Whoever that is, and they will have it. So how do you upload import Mogurt motion graphics template into your Premiere Pro? Couldn't be easier, guys, okay? Essential graphics panel, okay? Click browse, and you have the templates. You have the library and all the motion graphics templates from Premiere Pro or yourself. Drag this, click and drag this in here. You see the plus green plus button, let go. And then it goes to local templates folder, okay? So basically it does ignore the library. So if I search fire to bam. So it goes to your usual, okay? Local templates folder. And then you can right click and you can put this into your library that you want. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, subscribe for more. And I need a new microphone stand. So check out the thanks button under this video. Because I need to buy new equipment. Okay. Or should I hold it like this? Like, oh, like I'm Elton John. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. If you found this video helpful, again, subscribe. Uh, I appreciate it. If you have any questions about this video or anything Motion Graphics Premiere Pro, comment below. I'm gonna answer everything.